Hi Mouseketeers, welcome back to my channel, Princess Minnie. If this is your first time uh, watching one of my videos, or if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so then you can be alerted to all future Disney content that I bring to you. Um, normally I do post Mondays and Thursdays, however I've been really excited to start this channel, and so I've actually been posting like three times a week on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Not sure how long that's going to continue, but for now, that's kind of the new normal. So make sure you hit subscribe to join us. And if you like this video at the end, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please comment. I really want to be able to connect with you, hear what you think, what you like, what you dislike, what I, what you'd like to see me do in the future. So please communicate with me. I really do want to hear from you. Today I am bringing you a ton of pin mail, just like a ton of it. I have 15 things I want to show you, and not 15 pins, but like 15 packages that I have. Um, and that's not even the end of it. I'm going to have to do a second pin mail video either later this week or early next week just to kind of get through it all. I've been trading so much and buying so many pins and I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to mention is that I'm a member of Disney Kitty's Facebook pin trading group and that is where I have found not only so much so many resources about pin trading but also I have found all the people that I have so far traded with and this first trade that I have is actually the first pin trade I've ever done and this is from an awesome girl named Shelly. First of all, I'm going to say that every single person I traded with was phenomenal, just super nice and, and wonderful to deal with and everybody's pins came uh, safely and everybody communicated really well and so I really appreciated that to get started because I was a newbie and some of them were newbies too. Um, but again, this package, my very first trade of all time, came from Shelly. And so Shelly did include this sticker on the back of the package I wanted to share with you, which is super nice. I've started to put some stickers on my packages, so if you've traded with me, you may have seen them. Um, or I may have just started doing that, and sorry you didn't get one. But I am going to start doing that because I think it's nice. You automatically know that this is a Disney package. Um, and so let's break into these. I did already pre-snip all these packages so I didn't have to worry about that doing that in the video and to just kind of move things along for you guys but I have not yet looked at any of these pins I actually forget most of the pins I traded for um, so this will be a little bit of a, a treat for me too now if you've watched my previous videos if you saw my villains Tsum Tsum unboxing you know that it did not go well um, I opened three boxes of the Villain Tsum Tsums and I got the same box three times. Like that is insane to me. So there were two pins from that collection I really, really, really wanted and I got them from Shelly. So I'm going to show you those now. So the first pin I'm going to show you is this amazing Captain Hook pin. And one of the things I love about this pin is that even though it's a Tsum Tsum, you can tell exactly who it is. That's my main critique about the Sooms, that you do not always know who they are because their features are too subtle. But, I mean, from the hair to the amazing mustache to this fabulous hat, it's clearly Captain Hook. The second villain that I got to add to my collection, Genie Jafar. I like to call him Red Jafar, but I guess Genie Jafar is actually more accurate. Um, I think he's a super overlooked villain, and you especially never see him, at least I haven't, in his Red Genie form. So I was so thrilled to get this, and I'm just going to show you them both together. And you can see Captain Hook is a little bit bigger, but they're both really nicely sized. I'm just going to show you that you can see the first two Disney villain Tsums that I had, Ursula and Maleficent Dragon, now joined by Captain Hook and Jafar. They are looking so amazing together, and I may have to complete the set. I'm still looking for a few of them. I really think I might have to complete them, so maybe you'll trade with me if you have any, or I might have to get a few more boxes and hope I don't pull f the fourth of some of these. But that's not it. I also traded Shelly for three other pins, and yes, they are looking like nesting dolls. So I also opened nesting doll bags on my channel, two nesting doll bags, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, and I got a couple doubles, and I didn't get some of the ones I really, really wanted. So I actually was able to trade a bunch of people for these pins, and I'm not really trying to complete the whole set, but I am trying to get a few specific princesses that are left and I actually can't remember. I made so many trades 
that I'm going to show you that I, I'm not even 100% sure which ones I still need. Um, so this is going to be very helpful for my memory today. So let me show you the three nesting dolls that I traded Shelly for. First one up is Elsa, and I just love the detail on her. Her dress is gorgeous, and her braid is on point. Next up is Tiana. I love her colors, and I don't have a lot of Tiana stuff. Pins were otherwise. I'm really thrilled to get her. There's Snow White, and I'm actually really thrilled because I thought I did not trade for Snow White successfully. Um, so this is really surprising to me. Really happy about that. I love her colors. She's one of, in my opinion, the most detailed of the nesting dolls. So even though Snow is not my absolute favorite princess, I love the detail on this pin. I'm very excited to add it to my nesting doll collection. And you can see here the top row are the ones that I pulled that were not duplicates. I am super obsessed with Tinkerbell. I think they're all fabulous, but Tink is probably my favorite from this, uh, my original pullings. And I'm going to show you how I build this collection with trades today. Really excited about that. Guys, so that was my very first pin trade of all time. Really excited about it. My second trade was from another awesome girl from Disney Kitty's Facebook group. And her name was Charlotte. So let me show you what I traded for Char with Charlotte for. Oof, this one came super well packed, super well wrapped, which I definitely appreciate. Some of the pins that I got from people were a little more secure than others. This one, definitely no problems. Keeping this one safe. This is another set that I have been opening on this channel, and it is the um, Disney Villains set. They're, they're kind of cute style. They all have purple backgrounds. And um, Chernabog is one I did not have, but he was the one I most wanted because I love all of his detail. I love how his horns come out from beyond the pin back, the purple backing. And I just think he's fabulous. Let me show you him with all of the other villains pins I already have. Again, the top row are the ones I previously had. Most of them I pulled, but I did get one of them from a pin grab bag. And Chernobog is looking like a great addition to this set. And oh my god, I didn't think I was even going to like this set. And I didn't think I was a villains collector. You heard me say that if you've been watching my channel since the beginning. And apparently I was wrong. I am obsessed with these pins. The third pin trade I made was with an amazing girl named Arelli. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. And she sent such cute stickers as a little extra, which I really appreciate. Let me show you those first. Tiana, Cindy, Snow, and Rapunzel. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but clearly something has to be done. Two pins that I was really excited to trade for. Um, the first is from a set that I had not seen. It was a booster set of villains and kind of like their minions or their sidekicks. And I had not seen this before. Since trading for this pin, I have seen it several times. But this is kind of one of the only pins from the booster set that I really would have wanted. And there you can see Scar with his three hyena minions. And, you know, that's famous Scar quote, I'm surrounded by idiots. And, I mean, he is in this pin. Really excited to add this to my growing villains collection, especially because Scar is my second favorite Disney villain right behind Gaston. All right, now I have two primary Disney collections that, like if I had to pair all my pins down to just two collections, I'm gonna share with you my favorite collection later on. But my second favorite collection is Christmas pins. Any holiday pins really are perfect for me with Disney, but Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's just the most wonderful time of the year and I am trying to build up a huge amount of Disney Christmas pins in order to do an amazing pin board and maybe some pin crafts during the holidays this year. And this one I was so amazed to get. Never had I seen this pin before. So I think we all know Donald's nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but these are apparently Daisy's nieces, April, May, and June. And I mean, how cute is that? We're currently in May, April's my birthday month, and June is when school lets out, so as a teacher, these are three of my favorite months. Um, and just, this detail's gorgeous. I'm really psyched to have it for a pin board. I have since seen a few other characters in the wreaths like this, and I'm trying to get my hands on all of them. The next trade I made was with a girl named Katie, and she was, again, so sweet. And she sent a little note, said, thanks for the trade, hope you love these pins, which is pretty much what I say as well. And But she also included this little Mickey 
on it and this cute little Mickey cutout. Excuse, I actually cut this when I was cutting the package open, but I love how she did like the little cutout Mickey head. That was just such a cute touch, I thought. She also included this little goofy sticker set as well as the word gosh. So Goofy, not necessarily my favorite character, one of my fave fives, although I do love meeting Goofy in Disney World. Um, he's really fun, so I maybe next time I meet him I'll do like a little, um, like a photo, and on the photo frame I'll put those stickers or something like that. Oh good, I'm adding to my nesting doll collection, and I, uh, these are, okay, oops, I just realized. Like I said, I was making a lot of trades. In one week's time, I think I made 12 trades. You should have seen me at the post office. Everybody hated me in line. Um, but that's okay. So, because I was sending magic mail. And um, so, anyway, I was making so many trades. It's difficult to always remember what you've traded for. Especially if you go back and forth with somebody because maybe their pins were available, but then they already traded them to somebody by the time they get back to you. So, I... And having a duplicate here but you know what that's fine because I'll either use it for a different pin board or I will trade this back and spread the love to somebody else so here's my duplicate which is Elsa you remember her from just a minute ago and she's so beautiful now if you have Elsa you of course have to have Anna and in this case we get a bonus because not only do we get Anna but we get Olaf I honestly feel like they need to release more nesting dolls like this but with the princess and her sidekick like how amazing would it be to see Ariel on like a little like a little flounder down here or maybe Belle and Lumiere or something like that so you know if Disney's listening they should take these ideas they're gold people will buy them here we have both sisters they're so great together and steadily growing that nesting doll collection. I will eventually move these. I'm gonna actually put these on a special board. Um, so Anna and Elsa will probably be together in the end. My next tree was with Hannah. Oh, oh, and it's more nesting dolls. That's great, okay. I'm really excited to have Rapunzel. And look, just like Anna had Olaf, she has, um... oh my God, what is that chameleon's name? Pascal! That's it. She has Pascal with her and he's all tangled up in her hair. So I think that's just a charming little detail. And again, I wish they had done that with all of the pins. And then Belle. I'm so happy I have Belle. I love her colors. I love the roses in her dress, her little headband. There's nothing I don't like about this pin. And I think Belle is flawless in all forms. I'm glad she is in her gold dress for this pin. Okay, the collection is really starting to come along. So excited. The next person I traded with was Cassandra, and she had an entire booster pack that she was kind of looking to unload. I think she was willing to sell them all, or trade them all individually, but um, I just, she, I happened to have a bunch of Star Wars pins that she wanted, and so it kind of worked out that I just got the entire pack. Really, really excited to have this one. Um, I'm going to show it to you in the booster pack, because I kind of just like how it looks in the booster pack, and then I'm going to open it up and show you them all individually. It's a pass holder pack, and it's like the little golden statues that just in the past couple of years they've included around the castle hub. Let me show you each, each of these individually out of the wrapping. I'm going to show you these pins in order from my least to most favorite, and I'm going to have to start with least favorite being Br'er Rabbit. I know a lot of people love him, and I know a lot of people love Splash Mountain, but I don't. I don't really like log flume rides, and I think that the story part of Splash Mountain is really boring. I'm sorry if that's your favorite ride. Maybe you hate my favorite rides. I don't know, which are Tower of Terror, Toy Story Mania, and Haunted Mansion. No, you can't. You can't hate those rides. They're perfect rides. <laughs> uh, but no, Br'er Rabbit, he's super cute, and he might be one that I just put back on for trade. Pinocchio, I just don't have a thing for Pinocchio. It's kind of hard to see here, but he is talking to a little Jiminy Cricket, which is something that does kind of add to this pin for me, but just not my fave. Dumbo, we're kind of getting to the middle of the pack. I don't dislike Dumbo, love his big ears, but he's just not my favorite guy. Chip and Dale, I feel like so many times you see Chip and Dale separate and you have to buy like two pins to get both of them, so I really just like they're both here. Donald Duck, he is one of my favorite Disney characters. He's definitely one of my favorite members of the Fab Five. And I love the detail on his costume. I love his expression. Um, everything about this pin is just perfect to me. It's absolutely never going to be up for trade. 
And of course, I have to give a shout out to my girl, Minnie Mouse. She is just looking super adorable in this pin and her posture, her posing. Can it get better than that? It cannot. I'm here to tell you. So Cassandra, if you're watching, I was super excited to get all of those pins in one place rather than having to get them from a whole bunch of people. If I could have only had two, it definitely obviously would have been Minnie and Donald, and I would have been happy with that, but I'm really glad I have the whole set. I might, next time I go to Disney World, take photos of like the actual statues, and maybe I'll do some kind of craft where I do the photos and the pins in a whole kind of collage. My next trade was from uh, Caitlin. And very just different pins. Um, kind of just things I liked. I'm really excited to have these. They're so kind of random, but I like them. We have Figaro um, with a little yellow kind of um, collar with a little fish hanging off it. And I'm trying to increase my Disney cat um, collection because I do have two kitty cats of my own. And I would like to get a lot of Disney cats. And another character I'm trying to expand my collection of is the Cheshire Cat, and he's just a baby here. Oh my god, I've since seen this collection, and it comes with like Simba as a baby, Stitch as a baby, and Bambi, I think, as a baby. And they're all perfect, but honestly, if I could only have one, the Cheshire Cat, I think, just steals the show with that grin of his. Guys, there was so much in the next envelope that I just had to pull out. Like, the pins are almost like <laughs> an afterthought. Um, this is something I traded with Stephanie, and she was so sweet and great to trade with. And she said so many things! Uh, one is just, like, this adorable little weird thank you note, and just said that, you know, she hoped I liked the pins inside. She also sent me the, the Snow and Rapunzel stickers, so now I have doubles of those, which is great. And she sent this guide map for Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh my god, I just saw Mickey on there as I'm holding it up to the camera. And oh, he's so sweet. And it's the safari. And not only is Animal Kingdom either my first or second favorite park, I really can't decide. Um, it's... <sighs> I just, I enjoy being there the most. My favorite rides are in Hollywood Studios, so it's kind of a tie. Um, but the safari is definitely what I think is one of the things that sets Animal Kingdom apart, makes it so special. So this was just super nice and just brought a smile on my face. Thank you, Stephanie. I traded Stephanie for two pins, and the first is this glorious figment pin, and I'm planning on doing a set of figment ears with this pin featured somewhere on the ears, and so I just imagine him looking down on me from the ears to my face, and I can't wait. I've been, I've been dying to make those ears, so I'll definitely show those here on this channel soon. I've also been trying to complete the Disney couple set for the most part. Um, I'm almost done, actually, and I'll be showing you a, a Disney pin board that I do with that as soon as I can finish it, but I'm waiting for, like, I think I still need Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Once I have those, I will have all of the Disney couples. And this is Bambi, and I believe his girl's name is Feline, but I think I only know that from watching other Disney YouTubers have pins with Bambi, <laughs> because I have no idea how else I would know that name, because I have not seen Bambi since, I don't know, Maybe before I could talk, for all I remember. But this is an adorable pin. And it also just puts me in a very springtime mood with the flowers and the deer. So I'm happy. So my next show was with Allison. And I do believe that Allison is a subscriber. So, hey girl. Uh, thanks for the trade and thanks for the little note that you sent. I'm going to show that to everybody. I know some people keep their notes very private, but there's nothing super private about this. And I just want to show off this super cute um, Dumbo sticker. She also just included some other stickers around the packaging. And again, just such a nice touch if you're going to send magic mail. It automatically lets people know, oh right, I, I got some pins in a trade or whatever. Allison, was, Allison really made this secure. <clears throat> Could have used those scissors after all. Oh, this pin is way cuter in person than I thought it even looked on her board. So this is perfect. It goes just with the last pin, and it's Bambi and Thumper. And I believe this is from one of the Friends mystery bag collections. And I have a few of those I'm going to be opening up on this channel. So I kind of hope I don't get it, but I just had to trade for it when I had the chance. It, it really looks wintry to me, too, so I think that I could definitely put this on an upcoming winter pin board. 
Planner Tray was with Karina, and Karina sent this lovely tag. And the back pretty much just says, you know, thank you for trading, hope you like your new pin, and I really like seeing Vinny on this tag. She also included this cute little banana sticker. Like, oh my god, these people are just bringing such smiles to my faces. Like, if you have not traded yet with someone for pins, you absolutely should. Not that anybody has to kind of go above and beyond and put, like, little banana stickers on packages, but it just makes people happy. Let's get into this pin. And one of my lifetime favorite characters, Winnie the Pooh. I've since seen this pin on um, in a booster pack, and I kind of wish I had the entire booster pack, so I might have to get a few more pins from that series, but I just think the simplicity of this is gorgeous, and I'm really happy to have it. And the final trade I have to show you, I know I said I did like 12 trades, and I think this was only 10, but one of them had a mailing issue, so I'll be getting that eventually. The other one uh, just hasn't come in yet, so I'm sure it will be. Um, but this was with Kayla, and Kayla was like a last minute trade. She literally got in touch with me as I was leaving my house to go to the post office, but I really wanted to get it out, so I just turned back in, made up another package to trade, and took it to the post office and was the annoying person in line with like 12 packages. And Kayla lived in, lives in Canada, and so it was very interesting to fill out a customs form for the first time, being like, what's inside this package? Um, pins? It was very weird. Um, but she sent this note just saying thank you on this cute Snow White stationery. And when I opened up the mail to see, you know, what I had traded for her, I almost freaked out because I was like, did she send, did I trade her the same pin? Because can you, t like, doesn't it look like the same exact pin in here? You can tell they're nesting dolls, but they're different. Um, and I'm going to show you those close up in just a second. Oh, man. Whew. Another person who didn't really want me to get into these pins. I, You know what, Kayla? I think I'm going to have to get my scissors out, which is fine. Thank you for making them so secure. Oh, my God. It's amazing how much these pins look alike, actually. Ariel and Merida. I, even after taking them out of the package, I had to do a quick double take and be like, no, 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 they're different. Um, Merida. Merida is one I could have honestly lived without, but since I was already trading Kayla, I figured, you know, let me just, let me, let me grab Merida. Ariel, on the other hand, was a must for me because she's one of my favorite princesses, and I love the little seahorses on her dress. It's such great detail, and again... I wish there had been like flounder, but I'll take seahorses. And I just love, I wanted to show you them like this with the backs on because I just love the way the Mickey heads kind of make it, them look like they're wearing mouse ears. I mean, that's perfect, right? Guys, look how much of this collection I was able to complete through trades. I think there's still a couple more I want to get. Um, but I have to say I'm a little salty about this set because I'm kind of mad about some of the princesses who were not chosen. Like, the fairies are cute and all, but like, what about Jasmine or Mulan or Pocahontas? I think they would have made amazing nesting dolls. So I like the fairies, but I kind of wish they were something else. And uh, Mary Poppins is in there, and I just, I'm not a Mary Poppins fan. I'm not a collector for sure, so I don't really care about getting her. Like, if I run into her, I might get her. Um, but... These are perfect, and I'm definitely going to have to separate the redheads because I still think they look like the same pin even on this board. <laughs> um, and I think that would be a Cinderella, and I, that might be the only last one I really truly want to get if there is a Cindy. So that's it for trades, but I do have a few more packages I want to show you things that I purchased. And the first is from an awesome eBay seller, Busy B1. I've mentioned that name on my channel before, and you may have also heard it from some other Disney YouTubers because it's just a 